hey people what's up it's me tunji again from caesar graphics and um let's just jump into today's training i don't want to talk too much all right so we're going to be doing a movie poster again today and um this is what we're going to be coming up with all right so uh without wasting time i have my content files ready my exercise files ready excuse me so um i have everything here and um let's just start all right so let's create a new document so i'm going to click on file and select new and um, then i'll make uh, my width 634 and make the height double a two so 300 is fine and i'll call this um 16 to 19 so click OK create all right um so let's start bringing in content so I'll come here and drag this in first and I'll scale it all right I'll scale it uh, let's show this here so I'll scale it How did I do that? All right, so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hide um, everything for now. All right, or better still, I'm gonna delete all the layers. So I'll be dragging them in one after the other, so as to not to confuse anybody. So I'm gonna push this up. Okay, so um, so the next thing I'm going to do is to increase the brightness, increase the brightness a little bit, just a little bit. All right, just the contrasts. Then um, I'm gonna bring in um, I'm going to map. make this uh, let's make this for a F B D and I'll hit OK and um, for this one I'm gonna make this um, 9A 4 9 Three zero. Okay. So I click OK and um, push this in. Um, I'm gonna save this so I can use it some other time, and I'll reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity. Go to adjustment again, quick call. I need to drag this down so I can see my adjustment clearly. And um, if I push this down, push this in. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to bring in the building. Up. And um, we're going to create a mask. Select brush. Um, so far, and brush is fine. And uh, sorry, click on this box, right box, the max box, and clean all the white parts on the the image just a cloud okay and um, I'm just scale this down 
Now I used Ctrl T to bring out the transform um, adjustment. And if you're the, if you're a Mac users, if you're a Mac user, just hit con Command T to bring it out. All right. So I'm going to make a copy by hitting Ctrl J on my keyboard, or you drag and drop here to make a copy. And I'll push this here. I'll bring out the transform adjustment again, and I'll flip it. Now, but um, to make them look different, I'm gonna scale this to be a little bit bigger than the other one. All right. So this one should come down, and um, I'm going to bring in my board. Bring in my board. So I'll position this here. Okay, you know what? Let's just create um, the gradients. So, I'm gonna click here and I'll make this. Um, uh, I'm trying to create a gold, gold gradient. So, I'll make this three C two seven two seven zero B. I mean zero and B. All right. So I'll click OK, then I'll create um, another wheel here and I'll make this um, triple F, uh, no, double F, double C5, 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 I guess. All right, good. And um, this should be. F, F. You know what? Now I'm gonna cancel this. Let's just leave this as white and I'll click OK. I'll move this in. I'll click OK. Now um, I notice my uh, gradient map is affecting the background, so I don't want that to happen. I only want it to affect the buildings. So what I'll do is I'm gonna put the two layers in a fo in a group. So to do that, you should select the two layers and hold on shift and click. Then um, let's rename it. So I'm, call, I'm gonna call this buildings. Buildings. And um, hold on alt, because I only want it to apply to the building. So I'll hold on alt and click in between the two layers. Okay, so um, I think that's, the, that's it and um, Gonna increase the brightness. So bring in brightness. Click on this. Oops, no, that's cough. I need brightness. Brightness and contrast. So I'll increase this. Reduce this. Yeah, increase it again. Cool. And um uh yeah, let's bring in the next. So come here and then I'll drag and drop this. And then I'll scale it down. Just to size a little bit. Okay, this is this is nice. And um, okay, now I, I, I notice something. If you notice very well, you notice my um, ballot box is affecting my background. I can see what's behind the ballot box. So, to take out the background uh, to make um, this transparent, so what you do is um, first of all, 
you're going to create two copies all right i'm going to hide this first and um, i'll make this multiply now what multiply would do is it's going to take out the white um any part of the um layer that has white and then leave the um other colors all right so that's what um uh, multiply does and let's activate the other layer and make this soft light so i'll drag and drop here to make another copy but for this time okay so i'll make a new copy again all right now but for this time i'm going to create a mask all right and um i'll make this normal okay and i'll select my brush make sure your foreground is set to black so now select brush and just clear off this part all right brush it nice all right so i noticed there's something here something is wrong here it looks as if um the bottom part of the ballot box is not um working with the board all right so i'm going to um, pick the eyedropper to create a new layer sample a color from here and go to my brush to just the size make sure you're using the soft round brush and I'll brush here all right so i'm gonna zoom out now and um we need to create a shadow for um the ballot box so as to make it look more real so i'm gonna um hold on control or command and then click on the thumbnail view of um, the ballot box layer here and i'll create a new layer so i'll create a new layer and i'll call this shadow then I'll fit the layer with black so make sure this is set to black so I'll click here and I'll fill it with black with alt backspace and I'll hit ctrl D to deselect hit um, ctrl T or command T to bring out the um, transform, transform adjustments and then you drag down you drag it down then push this now hit enter and um i'm gonna make a copy of this again or before i do that i just add um gaussian blow gaussian blow all right and um i'll add a mask then i'm going to oops Technically, add two mask now. If you look at this place, you notice uh, my shadow is not looking perfect here, but here it's fine. So, what we're going to do is to clear this part of the shadow, all right? So, to do that, I'm going to select my brush, I'm going to select brush two and increase the size and just clean this part. I'm going to just clean up this part, it's looking too strong right there, all right. Good. so i'm going to make a new copy this time and um i'm going to push this down and I'll convert this to um black all right i'll convert the mask to black so to do that i'm going to click on the white box and hit alt backspace and um the next thing is i'm going to change the i'm going to convert i'm going to change my foreground color to my background and make the background the foreground and select brush in and just make the part I want visible and hit X and click clear this part all right and push this here or better still just make this a little more All right, so I'm gonna brush now, and um, brush.
Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna merge two layers now. So shift select the two layers and hit Control E or Command E and make a copy. And this time I'll go to filter again. I'll select blur and this time I'll choose motion blur. And um, yeah, just make it 19. Reduce the opacity of the one below. Small. Right. And let's do a sentence of this. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna zoom out and see what I, what I've come up with. Okay. Okay. So, um, so I'll create a new. Um, layer, but first I need to create a mask around this um, uh, around the ballot box and so I'll hit command shift N or control shift N and I'll call this burn change this to overlay check the fill with overlay neutral color box and um, I'll start brushing with my born two uh, all right so I brush right here well, this is not cool so I'll make this on red Do the same. Hit Control D or Command D. Then I'll zoom out. Nice. And um, I'll put everything in a in a layer in a group. Sorry. So hold on Shift and click on the folder icon. And um, yeah, so I'll call this box, All right? Okay, so uh, so I'm gonna add um, color balance. So to do that, I'll click on the color balance adjustment. Click on the, um, uh, this icon right here. So as to apply to just this um, to this layer. And um, I'm gonna push this up. I'm gonna push this forward. I actually want to add more red to it. Now, why am I adding red to it? I'm trying to do something that will blend with the background. So I'm gonna add red to this. All right, a little bit yellow. Zoom in, you can see what I'm doing clearly. So I'll come here under high, under shadow. Sorry, push this in here. It's a little bit yellow. Good. And for highlights, I'm going to just adjust right too much. Okay. And um, I'm going to add a curve. All right. So I want my curve to be before the color balance. So I'm going to push this down just a little bit, not too much. Just Right. Um, I'm not satisfied with this, but this the ballot box. My background is still not looking the way I want it. So I'm going to try another format to clear the white um, background. So I'm going to hide this and hide this. Okay. Um, so this is set to soft line, I guess. And this one is set to what? normal so for this i'm going to use normal all right and um i will double click here now this is how you clear um white um stuff on your um white background from your transparent objects so i'm gonna push this in 
right. I'm going to push this in to about here. Or this point. And uh, hold on Alt and drag. All right. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to now change it to soft light now. Now. All right. So I think this is cool. Okay. Good. All right. So I'm going to hide this. Zoom out yeah okay so the next thing is um i need to hide i need to add um a sunlight effect so to do that uh you want to first of all add it to this side so to do that i'm going to go to the um building layer so the layer between the building and the board i'm going to click on the brightness adjustment and i'm going to um click on this icon right here and choose gradient and for these i am going to click on this box here and i'm gonna make this white so I'll make it white all right and add the wheel here add the wheel here make sure this is set to 100 and Click here and um, add a little bit yellow, just a very light yellow, not too much, just very light. Good, and um, I'll click to add another wheel again. Make this here. Make sure this is set to this one is set to hundred percent. Click here and I'm going to make this um, orange yeah orange is fine and um, add another wheel here but this should be around um, let's say 30 to 35 let's just say 35 good and um, this should be this should be gray all right great all right i like this so i'm going to push this here and do the same thing for this okay so this here and i'll click okay but i would advise to save this because by the time i apply it to this layer now you see the magic and i'm sure you so much love it so make this um radio and i'll position it here okay and first of all i'm gonna click okay and say hard light uh hard light hard light um, i think it's too strong so I'm going to reduce the size. Reduce the size. So double click on it and reduce the size. My position is here. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm going to make a copy of it again. I'm going to make a copy of it and I'll drag it up. Now, but for this time, I'm going to reduce the size just a little bit. Yeah. And I'll push this here. Nice. All right. I'll say OK. Um, I'm having an issue with this side of my uh, lay okay so yeah so I'm gonna add um I'm gonna do it, put a layer here so I'm gonna call this white all right and um, make sure this is set to white select brush so far brush is fine and I'll increase the size 
and I'm gonna brush all right I'm gonna brush this side okay um yeah then um I am going to um we need to work on this so to work on it I'm gonna create it I'm gonna make a copy of my of my board let me give it a name so you guys find it easy to understand when I'm talking about it so I'll drag this and drop here and I'll convert I'll rasterize it then select my um, rectangle marquee I'll go to edit content aware scale and drag it down all right now don't bother about the look right now okay because I'm just some of you now I'm sure some of you are looking at it like man what's this guy what's this guy doing so I'm gonna hit ctrl D or command D no first I need to hit enter to take out the transform adjustment and hit command D to take out the marquee and I'm going to use my um, uh, mix brush the setting is fine the default setting is always fine so I'm going to brush all right I'm gonna brush it now I'm gonna brush it brush 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 cool all right so I'm going to the next thing we're going to do is to um, go to this icon right here and choose color lookup and first I'm going to bring in the um, hedge amber and I'm going to reduce the opacity all right reduce the opacity so I'm going to make the opacity 12 all right then I'll add a, I'll make another one again so but for this one I'm going to use um, uh, let's see just this particular one I'm looking for okay tension green okay and I'll reduce the opacity reduce the opacity just a little bit yes yeah, beginning to look like it okay um, so um here I notice I I'm still not satisfied with the color of this background so first I'm going to move the background to this side let's make it go up a little bit yes like this and um, I'm going to come here and uh, I'll come here and, and select channel mixer, increase the red, just increase the red, increase the green just a little bit. Yep, then I want to add a little bit yellow, so I'll go to blue and increase the strength of my red to add yellow just yep good then um yeah okay so i'm gonna create a new layer ctrl shift n or command shift n to create a new layer so i'll call this burn again and make this overlay check this box and I'm going to select the bond tool 100 is fine for me increase the size I'm using this square bracket to increase the size of my brush oops that so I need to zoom out oh, no zoom out and I'll start brushing again. All right, so you get the idea. Then I'm going to create a new layer again and call this noise. All right, 
um, fill it with black halt backspace or option backspace for Mac users and I'll go to filter render is it render no render yeah no no render say add noise noise and say hard noise and click the size make sure monochrome is checked and I'll go to filter again select sharpen say smart sharpen and yep good and I'll click OK all right then I'm gonna say um, overlay I'll use the size the strength oh, let's just stop Let's see what soft light is going to give us. Okay, I think soft light is better. So I'll, I'll make this um, 28%. And I'll hold on Alt or Option, Control, Shift, and E. And I'll go to Filter, um, Camera Roll. Camera Roll. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit yellow. All right, a little bit yellow. Add a little bit red. Oh, not too much. Increase the exposure, just to make it bright. Add more contrasts. All right, to darken the shadow part of the image. Um, increase highlight a little bit. No, increase a little bit. Um, I'm going to reduce the shadow a little bit just to make it darker. Yep, increase the clarity. Okay, increase the clarity, increase the vibrance. And um, for sharpening, I'm going to reduce the sharpening just a little bit, increase it just tiny, just a little bit. And I'll go on here and I'm going to add. Um, all right, so I'm going to drag this forward just to add um, red again. Increase this just a little bit, and I'm going to use this to add green because I'm so much about the green. Okay, and um, yeah, um, my sharpness is too much. I'm going to reduce it. It's too much. Okay, I think that's it. So I'm gonna hit OK. Good. So this is what we have now. All right. So let's just start bringing our um, contents, like the text, the title of the. Um, no, I still I missed some things here. So I need to add red. I want this part to be a little bit ready. So I'm gonna click here, create a new layer, call this red and uh, select brush just brush this part nope use this brush all right so i'm gonna click and select screen good so i'm going to select my move to and move it a little bit to this side all right um yeah so i'm gonna create a new layer again i'll call this lens flare a flare all right make sure this is set to black your foreground is set to black and hit alt or option backspace and i'll click go to filter select render and select lens flare uh, let's turn this this way just this way yeah. reduce the size i actually don't want something too big okay so that the big say hit OK and I'll select screen and I'll increase the size just small. Let's turn this here. Alright, and um yep, then I'll bring in this image right here because I'm trying to get this creepy effect on it. So I'll just cut this and 
or celestial flight reduce the strength of the opacity okay just a little bit just tiny All right and let's start bringing in our contents but i'm going to start with the title so i'll just call this 16. Okay, so I am going to draw a box. Kidding me? Um, draw a box, and I'll fill the box with red. For now, okay, and I'm going to push everything up because I notice it's taking too much space. All right, so I'm only going to show you how I power clip the image. All right, how I clip um, the image in the box. Then um, I'm going to skip the video because I'm trying to make the video short and then bring in the rest of the um, images. So this is how to do it. So I'm going to position the image here and I'll hold on Alt and click. And my image is inside the box. All right, so I'm going to. Do the same thing for the other pictures all right so i'm back so this is it so um the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm trying to blend the color of the images so i'm going to select hue click on this icon and reduce the opacity reduce the strength of the colors all right like this and i'll come here and choose um color look up then I'm going to choose um, candlelight. Make this twenty. That's what this says. And I click on this icon. Next time. Now I'm going to increase it. Okay, think it's fine. And um. Select curve and reduce the strength of my the image with it, make it more darken the curve. Okay. And um yep, so for this part um for the title or uh, before I do that, I'm gonna put everything in the folder so as to make my layer panel neat. So I'll call this act. Act, just act, okay. All right. So, um, select this and change the color to red. Very bright red. All right. And there are other ways that you can do what I'm about to do now. But this is how I always enjoy doing mine. All right. So I'll make this dark red. All right see the figure right here so i'm gonna click ok and i'll use brush to just all right you can use gradient you can use um gradient adjustment to apply color to this but this is what i always enjoy doing mine so i'm gonna click and select the move tool and drag this down okay so i'm gonna bring in the cast now so i'll just drag and drop Change the color with um, play, uh, the FX icon. So I'm going to go to color overlay, color overlay, color overlay. Good. And yeah, white is fine for me. Click OK. 
good and um, yeah let's just bring in the name because I don't want to waste time all right so I have to pause the video to type the name and this is it all right so thank you guys for watching my video again today and I really appreciate it you guys are great I'll see you guys in my next tutorial peace out